So I think it's good to define social learning first. And our definition, definition of social learning was really born out of, I guess, my vision 10 years ago with YouTube and LinkedIn. And if you look at LinkedIn, you know, sorry, look at YouTube, you know, it is the number one learning platform in the world driven, and it is the number one social learning platform in the world um, with individual creators and organizations creating great content that people are learning everything from fewer school and learning your science and your maths, um, from Olympic athletes or um, Wimbledon ten tennis champions improving their, improving their performance in a sport. So that's one element of, of social learning, which is experts codifying what they do and you know, giving back, if you like, to that mass audience is able to learn from them anytime, anywhere. I think the second way of, of social learning we think about it are those conversations. So conversations that may come from content. Um, so that's, you know, you listen to an expert and asking questions of that expert uh, or independently of that, where you're reflecting, you're having collaborative conversations and you're learning through that conversation with each other where you may have a question that sparks something off or you can't find an answer, you know, in any other type of area. So you're asking for expertise from a community. So for us, th those are the, when we think of social learning, we've, we're thinking of those, those two areas. So we obviously we've always had a strong belief in the benefits of social learning and to make social learning work we're not necessarily saying it's an easy thing to do but the benefits are huge um, because there's one you know there's one piece of knowledge which is the organization top down feeding people with new knowledge new information and that's great but obviously the practitioners the people doing the job brilliantly is they know how to do the job and it's inside their heads and for organizations that are able to leverage that, able to find those experts, codify their expertise, either through a partnership with an L&D team or a communication team, or get into a place where eventually those experts are doing it themselves. The ability to codify that next knowledge, that, that knowledge is akin to those future Olympic athletes. You know, there are um, people that are winning skateboarding champions that, that, that learnt it, tennis champions that are improving through what they're, they're learning from, from experts inside of there. So that same concept we're seeing and have seen over the last five, 10 years, organizations apply to their own capabilities, you know, codifying the knowledge of the best salespeople, of the best engineers, the best call center people, the best, the best software engineers. And when that knowledge is codified on a regular ongoing basis, especially in this world where knowledge is changing so fast, what you'll see is you're allowing every individual to learn at the speed of their potential.